Hey, I'm Danny Rio. I'm here with the Harley Benton B35 BK FL acoustic fretless bass. I hope you'll excuse my intonation on that demo I did earlier. I've been playing fretless bass for about an hour. And I'll admit it is a little bit challenging without the fret lines to mark out where all the notes are, but there are these dots on the side here. Those dots are not where they would normally be on a fretted instrument, where they would normally be between the two frets. These dots are right where you should put your finger. So this bass shipped quickly. I ordered it from Toman on a Sunday and it showed up the Wednesday of that same week. And I thought the packaging was good. It was packaged nice and safely. Cosmetically, the bass is in okay shape. It came with a little scuff mark around the sound hole here, which you probably can't even see from there, and a couple other general imperfections. But overall, it's in pretty good shape and nothing that you would notice, uh, say, from stage. The only weird design thing that I did notice on here was this tuning peg for the low B string. As you can see, the strings are kind of jammed together as they pass through there. Um, and it's on more of a severe angle than the others. The others are in more of a straight line with the strings as they pass over the fingerboard, while the B string is on more of an angle when it hits the nut. And I'm wondering if that has something to do with the lower volume and kind of duller tone of that B string. Um, so I may experiment with winding that the opposite direction to see if it helps at all. This bass has decent volume on its own acoustically, but I'm not sure how it would hold up against other acoustic guitars like in a jam session. It might end up being a little bit quiet and getting a little drowned out, but my main purpose for this is recording and playing live where I'd be plugged in or mic'd anyway, so it's not a big deal for me personally. As far as the plugged in sound, I generally really dislike how acoustic guitars, acoustic electric guitars sound when they're plugged in. I find that they have kind of a plastic, spitty, kind of high-end sound to them that I don't like. Um, and this one is pretty similar just when you plug it in, but luckily the EQ gives you a lot of control over the different frequency ranges. It's got bass, it's got mid one, which is low mids, mid two, which is high mids, treble, and then a presence knob as well. So you can adjust each of those. And I found after plugging it in that I could get rid of most of that, um, that annoying plasticky sound if I drastically cut that treble slider. Overall, I think this bass is a great value for the money that you pay for it. So if you're considering stepping into the world of acoustic basses or fretless basses, I think this would be a great option for you. I'm hoping it's going to do even better than that because I plan on uh, hopefully recording an entire album with it. So we'll see how that goes and you can look out for those songs, videos, uh, releases on Spotify, etc. in the near future. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please go hit that like and subscribe button below and leave a comment if you have a question or if there's something that I forgot to cover in this video that you'd like to know about this bass or if you'd just like to say hello. During the video, you heard some music from my band Arkansas Dogjaw in the background and in some of the demo playing that I was doing. You can find the link for that band down in the description below as well as the links for some other projects that I have. If you could go check them out and subscribe to them as well, I'd really appreciate it. Have fun playing music, take care, and I'll see you soon in the next video.